It's time now for Better Health. I'm joined here with Asante's health expert, Beth Coker. Beth, today we are talking about nosebleeds. Nosebleeds are very common. 60% of people will have one nosebleed during their lifetime, and it can be caused by various factors. A nosebleed is just the tissue in the nose drying out and just bleeding. And although it can be very traumatic to see blood coming from your nose, most nosebleeds can be handled at home. You're going to see them more frequently in children ages 2 to 10 because they're sticking things in their nose, they have dry nose tissue, they're picking their nose, they're blowing their nose hard, so they have nosebleeds bleeds more common. People who have taken an injury to the face with a ball or anything hard object to that nose area, they're going to have more common nosebleeds. Pregnant women, the tissues stretch out just a little bit during pregnancy, dilating those blood vessels. So pregnant women suffer from nosebleeds also more frequently. And then people taking blood thinning medications like warfarin or aspirin, they're also going to have nosebleeds more frequently. But it's not alarming most of the time. Okay, so why should we worry about nosebleeds though, if they're not alarming for most of the time? Well, most of them are caused by dry air. That's the mm. biggest risk factor for a nosebleed. Okay. Other things can be being up at high altitude. Other things can be you blow your nose too forcefully during a cold <laughs> or sinusitis. Other nosebleeds are caused by people who ingest cocaine or other drugs by inhaling them through the nose. They're just going to ruin the membranes of the nose. People who use nasal sprays frequently also develop a tendency to have nosebleeds. So you have to know what you're doing wrong to develop those nosebleeds. Okay, so then tell us, how do we stop it? The biggest thing is don't lie down because when people lie hmm. down, that blood drains down the back of the throat, causes them to be nauseous, vomiting ensues, and then they worsen the factor of hmm. the nosebleed. So sit upright, lean forward a little bit with your head, put some pressure here on that pin, pin of the nose up there. You can apply an ice pack up there to the nose and for about, pinch that nose area for about five to 10 minutes. If the bleeding doesn't stop after 20 minutes and you develop any nausea, get in to see a medical professional immediately because then there's something more severe going on. But most nosebleeds can be handled at home just with some common sense. Okay, well, at least people know now since you informed us. Thank you so much, Beth. We'll be right back.